y'all. What's up? It's your girl Queen. And your girl Mish. And this is The Rock. Welcome to me. Back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. To The Rock. Welcome back to America. <laughs> not want to come back girl the ghetto. I'm, I'm in, in the, the ghetto, ghetto. I'm in the ghetto. <laughs> how was your trip where'd you go <laughs> here we go drama cute y'all i went to ghana and it was the most fun the most bliss the most peace the most mm. lit the most mm. everything wow i didn't even want to come back i'm gonna be honest with y'all we're happy to have you though. Came back for my wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it was a great time. You know, the year of return, so everybody and their mama was there. Mm -hmm. What killed me? What? I saw there were so many things on Twitter about the Uber drivers. Oh and no, it's, just I like, saw it's like I, I'm African, so like <laughs> I understood, but the like, you know, non. Africans were probably so shook. I saw this one tweet where this girl was saying how her Uber driver got tired, so he asked her to drive. Oh, that's wild. <laughs> no, there was one that I was like, oh. I'm dead as somebody to drive. Honestly, and do not take the wheel in Ghana because they drive crazier than you can imagine. Like, don't take the wheel. You don't. But there was one I saw where the girl was like, oh, I'm here, where are you? And it was like, I'm at church. <laughs> You at church. You know, she there waiting for the Uber to pull up and you at church like that. I do not care. Our That's uncles crazy. do not care. They, they never care. care and never will care. Okay. You can't force them. It's not by force. We haven't even gotten into the topic we yet. Have it. So okay. I'm gonna answer that later. But today we're gonna be talking about I know it's a little bit past the, the, the window, but we're gonna get into things that we hope that as a community, we can leave behind in 2019. Should have left it in 2018. Some things low key shouldn't have lingered past 17. But we're human, right? Like, hey, come on. Come on. I ain't ready to make no It shouldn't even enter the decade if we're gonna be <laughs> decade. Honestly, we are entering a new decade. We, we are in, in a new, new decade. decade. It's here. Happy new, new decade. decade. Happy new decade. So yeah, as Mish said, and she said it so beautifully, these are the things that we're leaving in 2019 and why you should as well. Okay. So. Kick us off, sis. You, you kick us off. No, no, no. What? You always want to leave something behind, so go. I don't like the way you said that, because I'm not really sure what you meant by that, but I will, because I have a list, and I'm sure you got a list. <laughs> Because there's two types of people in this world. You not about to act like I'm not the one that's always more prepared. You're right, you are. But today it looks like I am. All right, so let's start. Um, one of the things that I am leaving and I'm so tired of is the PWI versus HBCU debate. Oh my god. Yeah, at this point, go to school, get your education. It's so warm because I think honestly like, though, the, the whole scopu tum pam pum tu, all of that can go. That can go. She means scopa tu mana. And if you are a Twitter user, then you know exactly what that means. It's when people just be like, what do you feel about this topic? Which is supposed to be controversial. But nine times out of ten, there's no controversy. There's none. It's like Everybody feels the same way about this one topic. Yeah. And the HBCU versus PWI one is one of the same. I feel like both of those types of schools have different things to offer. And if you go to one of them, more power to you because you're getting a degree. And so we could just leave that. Yeah. For, um, and also, I think it's just like another means of like this divisiveness. For the black community, like yeah. I'm more black than you are because. Or I'm more educated than you are that part yeah so we gonna leave that um personally this is more theater <laughs> <laughs> who 
It's more what? It's more who? Okay, so the thing is, English is not my first language, Sorry, and I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to sit up here and act like English is my first language. It's not. Theoretical is a term where in which I was going for. Did I miss the mark? Yes. Did I figure out what the term was and bounce back? Yes. Will I not be put down by my colonizer who expects me to have stellar performance in a language that is not mine wow. nor my primary? Wow. Wow. I will wow. not be put down. Okay? Theoretical. That's deep. And what I'm leaving in 2019 that is theoretical is inconsistency. That of which that is my own and not of other people. I'm not really much to say. It's just that, like, um, a lot of times, I, think, I know, like, personally, there'll be things, like, I want to do and want to accomplish and, like, we'll have a lot of, like, energy towards doing that and then, like, slowly but surely, like, fall off. Um, but that's why I think I'm making, like, more, like, smaller and realistic goal planning and setting um, to be able to remain consistent in my own life, but also just the energy that I allow in my life, like, you know, if we're gonna be one way or be one thing, like that is the expectation that I will hold said person to, you know, throughout the entirety of that working, mm -hmm. like friendship, relationship, workship, whatever. Yeah, that's a good one. So like I said, I'm Ghanaian, and one of the bases that I think is so tired and I hate is who has the best you off. Yeah, like at this point we all know I was Ghana. Ghana. Yeah, like at this point we all know I was Ghana. Ghana. <laughs> Fall right. down, man. Right, it's man. Congo. You're like, right, Congolese, right. we have the best job. And man. here's the thing I don't care. Like, argue your auntie. We do. No, argue with your mother. Because honestly, and, but let me tell you something. If you bring that argument to me, it's just like in my blood. I can't let Ghana just sit there and be like, I'm not going to engage this argument. I will do it with you. I will say that it's Ghana, but it's like really deep down in my heart. I'm just like. Not again. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, conversation starters. We don't we don't have to go to this. One Africa. Africa to the world. Africa to the world, baby. Oh my gosh. Okay, this one is a little bit personal to me because I feel like I... Okay, so let me just say, in 2019, we're going to leave the excessive carpet resembling lashes. Here's my debacle. <laughs> I love lashes. You love lashes. I do love lashes. I, mean, I love lashes. I think lashes add a certain dimension to the face. It's just it beautiful. It but those that <laughs> can can you can you see what I'm doing? <laughs> those what you're doing. those that extrude to this level. It's, it's just, I don't know, it just, it defeats the purpose to me. Because now, not only do we not, can we not see your whole face, but they don't even look like lashes no more. It looks like a whole different compartment. And they just be, they just be there. Mink if you blink. Baby, <laughs> if you do one too many blink, I don't know, things will, I don't know, man. Yeah, please. And it's my little personal thing because I'd be like, uh, the face made me be down the lashes, throwing everything off. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I didn't really think about like beauty things, but now I got one that I want to leave in 2019. So y'all knew there's this new trend that some people are doing where it's like they'll get their nails done and then one finger will be a different shape than all the <laughs> other fingers. Have that. you seen it? Yeah. Where it's like they'll have one that's like a pointy one as their like pinky nail and then the rest all of the other will be ones. like coffin nails oh let's do a nail cam by the way yeah because we done got our nails done this like, they time can't around. even see them yo my nails are so cute i just don't even and i got them Damn. done in ghana and they were the best nail service i've ever gotten in They're my really life cute. like really really cute yeah honestly i hate to say this because i own a pair but um the felines i don't know like at, at first i was a huge fan but now i just they just don't slap 
and like I, I like said, them. I own them, and I'm just I've had a change of heart towards them. But we don't all have to leave them because you're not leaving them. I don't own a pair, but I I actually like. What size are you? You gonna give them to me? <laughs> <laughs> She's just saying that for the cameras. What size are you? I'm a size seven and a half. All right, Dan said I wear a five. Sheesh. Yeah, you got three feet on me. Mm -hmm. Sure enough. Yeah, I like them. I actually like the look of like the clunky shoes. Not for every outfit, but I feel like it can really make an outfit slap. I think some clunky shoes work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not to, to no to all of them. It's just those in particular I do. But now I feel like I'm going to pull them out at some point and this video is going to prove me to be a liar. But hey, I said it. Um, let me see. One of the things that I want to leave. Oh, one of the things that I want to leave in 2019 is pocket watching. Like I feel like a lot of people be doing that, and it's like it ain't none of your business. Okay, like mind the business that pays you. Wherever somebody gets their money from, whatever somebody's spending their money on, you don't gotta ask them how they make things happen. If they going on trips, they going on trips. If they buy a designer, they buy a designer. You don't got a pocket watch. Okay. My God is good. My God is good. Everything go double, double. My double, double. Finance is double, double. Double, double. Design are double, double. Amen and amen. Can the church get an amen? Amen. All right. There it is. There it is. Um, on that same vine. I think one thing I want to leave in 2019 is like people just throwing on designer and just calling it drip. <laughs> like having the capability to wear a Fendi shirt <laughs> does not make you fashionable. Like, do you have the means? You have it, sure, but like that's not you know just because I can throw on the name. Then you know I'm high fat, high fashion, like Goya. Just cause you wear designer don't mean you could drip in it, huh? Bit that uh, drip for sale, drip for sale. Okay. Another thing that I think that we should have been left in 2019. Okay, here's my thing is mm, tell us your thing. Here's my thing mm -hmm. is sometimes I feel like we get scared to say the things that we mean oh. and so instead we try and cushion it with the lol or we try and cushion it with Man. a joke for delivery and i'm trying to leave that yeah exactly mm -hmm. money. but i'm just like i want to leave putting lols at the end of the statement when you mean it to be serious i think that sometimes we just try and like you know make the Please, other person comfortable exactly yeah. and it's like if you want them to receive it as you being serious then just be serious with it it doesn't mean that it has to be like rude or it doesn't mean that you're angry it just means that you're serious and so it's not every day like oh stop stealing my clothes lol, LOL. <laughs> if i said don't touch my clothes <laughs> Don't touch my clothes. That's it. Like, don't wear them. Oh. Don't don't wear them unless you ask for permission. Man, I didn't like how you did that. LOL. LOL. <laughs> like, so we laughing. I'm Man, about to LOL out. through the LOL. day. Right. right. You say LOL, I'm going to be like, LOL. Nah, you know, just playing fair. Right. And the next time I'm going to do it. LOL. LOL. <laughs> so we did it in 2019. Like, for say it with your chest. That's it. Yeah, Aquia is also like an extremely direct person, a sparer of no emotions. So, <laughs> not surprised she was trying to leave that into the A sparer of no emotions. That's not true. Sure. I share a lot of emotions. I've been kikiing all through this video. That's an emotion. LOL. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm just saying what I'm saying about you, but LOL. Dang, don't you hate when somebody try to piggyback off your joke and then they wanna I mean, don't slap, man. I do that all the time. Sometimes like someone has this like on you know there's like joke circles and roller coasters and it's like such out of climax. You wanna contribute so bad. I hate being a person who takes a joke from the climax and kills it. Like can you imagine responsible like everybody's weak and you bear responsibility of keeping a weakness and you drop the ball. Yo, I be like, no, you I'm just sick out of that. I'm sick. Cause the thing is, your friends will call you out too. They'll be like, 
Like, bro, bro, what we that, that, in my brother that all the time. Like, out of 10. We'll be going back and back, back and forth with jokes, and I like say one and then it's slap. It's so funny. And then he would dead stop laughing and be like, "That ain't a slap." And I'm just like, "Dang, we we were seven for seven, and I am default." Oh man, I hate it. I man. hate it. I hate it here. I hate that for you. Girl, hold on. <laughs> Okay, I'm speaking one mil subscribers. One mil, baby. Hey, once we get one mil, we're gonna do a trip giveaway. Ooh, yes, I'm speaking. We y are. Where y'all trying to go? Bora Bora. Y'all let us know where y'all trying to go. Santorini and <laughs> Bali, Las Vegas. Okay. <laughs> Yo, honestly, 2020, we're looking for newer, brighter, more positive things like all of the things that you feel was holding you back or not necessary or whatever the case in 2019 release, release it. it let it go release keep it in that year because we are in the new year the new decade a new season okay so like just hear it you know claim the positive things you know build on the things that are already your strengths mm -hmm. build on the things that are good and you know, work on correcting your behavior for things that aren't so good. That's true. Things that you don't love. Um, I just think, you know, life is too short to be surrounded and meddling in things that you don't like or you don't yeah. love. Also, last thing. Because <laughs> you just reminded me. Okay, okay, okay. Every day she's trying to roll on the floor. Sorry. Last thing is let's let's stop practicing group think as well. Like oh, I get a trend man. and I'm here for trends because like sometimes trends are good and like they're nice and fun. But it's like just because everybody else likes it doesn't mean you have to like it. Like you I think that's what got me on the few lies. And now I'm on. You think so? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was it was definitely a trend and it wasn't for everybody in this case that I liked it on you the way you paired it. Oh thank you. Know? Yeah. yeah. But it's like too much group think. Yeah. Too much. What was your also? <laughs> My last thing was just that I've been um, watching Transformation Church with Pastor Michael Todd and um, his new sermon or his new series. It's called Stronger for 2020. And the first sermon was about vision. Mm. So solid. So YouTube, podcast, whatever. Transformation Church, Michael Todd. It's such a great lecture. Your life. Yes. yes. Amen to that. Yes. Sir. All right, so that's it. That's all we have. Coming to you real live direct on the, the raw. raw.